Well, we chose two basic types of fibers, uh, insoluble fiber, which has been known to promote laxation or movement of, of the gut. So essentially what you want to do in healthy gut metabolism is to ensure that uh, nutrients flow through the gut, get absorbed, and the waste get passed through in a timely manner. So that's what insoluble fiber uh, helps in. The other part of uh, the fiber equation is to include soluble fiber. And what soluble fiber does is it provides a viscous uh, barrier between uh, the food that you're ingesting and its absorption through the gut wall. The other thing that soluble fiber does is it gets metabolized by gut bacteria and the metabolites of which are actually feeding the gut wall. Uh, the feeding of the gut wall is very important because not only does it make it stronger, but it also provides the nutrients to power the immune system that sits right behind or within the gut barrier. So by providing those types of nutrients, you're actually uh, boosting the metabolic and the immunologic uh, fitness of the GI tract, uh, all of which is really important for overall health. So one of the, uh, uh, I guess, ideas that prompted us to think about what should go into the Gloria Bar is based on this very simple premise that you want to keep the gut barrier as strong as possible and um, you want to resist the ability for the, for the food to cause what's called uh, gut leakiness or leaky gut or small intestinal permeability because if that happens then you have either flex of food antigens that can provoke allergy or pieces of bacteria that could provoke uh, an immunologic response or inflammation and we know we've known for uh, the last few decades that chronic inflammation is what's causing or provoking a lot of the um, metabolic problems that associate with uh, things like weight gain, insulin resistance, and diabetes. And so if you can avoid that by strengthening the gut, then you can prevent all these uh, secondary consequences of this invasion. So the parts of the Coria bar are essentially informed by what's known uh, by biochemists as things that power uh, the mitochondria. And if you can power the mitochondria, then you can make sufficient ATP to maintain the integrity of the GI tract.